another video so today I'm doing another hair video this is like my third on my channel second with relaxed hair but today it's gonna be a little different than the last video I'm gonna go into more detail about my wash day and how I style my hair so stay tuned if you want to see it okay so I'm coming to you guys with about a two week old relaxer and first I'm going to wash my hair and deep condition it and so I'll show you guys exactly what I use and then you'll get a little montage of me in the shower with how I use these products. Okay, so I do the complete like full wash day on my own. So I use Aflogy's Deep Moisture Shampoo first. Second, and I might shampoo once or twice. It depends how my scalp feels when I'm in there. And second, I use the Keratin Two Minute Reconstructor as a conditioner. I use this Vanity Planet scalp massaging brush as well, like to either use with the shampoo or conditioner, depending on how my scalp feels again. And then I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Manuka Honey Treatment Mask, and I detangle with a wide tooth comb. So stay tuned for the shower clips. Okay guys, so my hair is still feeling kind of like not clean. I usually wash my hair every week, so I'm going to do shampoo twice. Okay, so now I'm going to let the conditioner sit in my hair while I finish on my shower. I'm going to wash my body, wash my face, and come back. Also, just to note, the reason why I use these two products together, because they work so great together. The shampoo leaves my hair so moist, like not dry at all, and the conditioner literally just leaves it feeling so soft. But since it's winter, that's why I'm going to follow up with the deep conditioner. So I'll come back when I'm done washing my face and stuff, and when I apply the deep conditioner. Okay, so I'm done washing my body, so now I'm about to rinse this off. I'm going to switch the shower from all the way warm to the middle so it's like a cool setting. Rinse the conditioner out to seal like the cuticles in. It'll be just like coldish warm, and then I'm going to apply the deep conditioner and comb through my hair. Okay y'all, so now I'm at the shower. My deep conditioner is all applied to my head. I'm gonna take a plastic cap, cover the whole thing over my ears. I'm about to put on a face mask, so that's gonna determine how long I leave this on for. Ooh, my eyebrows look so good. 
So that's gonna determine how long I leave this on for. So I'll come back when I'm done with my base mask, just a regular acetide clay mask. And then whenever that's hardened, that's when I'll just wash that off and wash this out of my hair. So I don't put heat on it. I just leave this cap on and call it a day so I'll be back. Okay guys, so excuse my skin. It's because I just took off my face mask. The acetide clay mask literally will stretch anything out your pores. So it's been about 40 minutes um, with this on. I literally haven't done anything, just watch the show. So I'm about to rinse this out in like the middle of hot and warm water. And then I will show you guys how I wrap my hair and show you what products I use. Okay, so post wash out. I literally just take a towel and pat it just to remove some of the excess water. And then I look crazy. So after that, I spray this Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructor all over my hair. Yep, all in it. Then I take this Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion and I use it to wrap my hair. I use a very generous amount and I use a little, you know, rat tail comb. And then I use a black rapid strips. So I'm going to fast forward through this, but you guys are gonna see the motion in the ocean and how I lay my hair down. And also the wrapping pattern depends on how you style your hair. I usually style it in low key like a side part. So that's why you saw me in the mirror trying to make this part pop. And I do a very like comb and wipe motion. And now to wrap it. So I have no particular wrapping technique. I kind of just wrap it and make sure everything is covered. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm about to dry my hair. I dry it at home with this Layla Ali um, overhead dryer. So I use the bonnet, put it over my head, secure it, and then I put it on about medium heat on this little um, dial. High is so hot, it literally burns my ears. Not even for like heat protection reasons, just it does. Um, but I low key, this low key works as like a heat protectant, so I don't put anything else on my hair. So I'm going to put this on and dry it. I'll let you guys know how much drying time it took me, and then I will come back for when I style it. So depending on what time I finish with this, if I'm lazy or not, I'll either just sleep, put a do rag on, and do my hair in the morning, or do it tonight. We'll see how I feel, but I'll let you guys know. So I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so we're back at it like a crack at it, and it's been like two hours. Um, my hair is still a little damp. I took some breaks to talk on the phone and stuff, so I'm just gonna take these wraps off. And now that this is off, I'm going to use these Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops for my scalp. And I'm going to use this Organics Anti-Breakage and Keratin Oil. It's weightless healing oil. I'm gonna use this on my hair and I'm just going to let it finish drying because it's still slightly, you know, like has a little bit of moisture in it, so.
And pro tip, I don't like to do my hair with any type of moisture because you really don't want to fry it when you flat iron it. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. And I'll be back in 30. Okay, so we're back 30 minutes later. It looks exactly the same, but feels completely dry. So now we are going to take this Nano Titanium Red half inch flat iron and I'm going to set it for about 300 to 350 probably like 325 and see how I feel with that and I'm going to start straightening my hair again I am relaxed so it does not take much to straighten my hair um, but it does take a little heat to get like a bump together so stay tuned for the montage of me straightening it I'm also going to be using a rat tail comb this is just a different one still a rat tail comb and um, use that to comb through my hair as I'm straightening Okay, so I kind of just wanted to show you guys how I do the front and side. So I'm going to continue doing that off camera and I'm going to come to you guys when it's done. Okay, so now I am done flat ironing. Now I'm going to take Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey Shine Pomade and I'm just going to take like a fingertip amount and apply it around these parts of my hair that I don't touch and I'm just going to style it up, toss it around. So everybody knows when your hair is fresh, everything is easy, it's fun, blah, blah, blah. But in between that, it's not that great. So when you're waiting for your next wash, you're not quite there yet it's kind of hard to deal with. So I use She Is Bomb Edge Control. This is not sponsored, obviously. This is She Is Bomb Edge Control, best edge control ever. And then I will use that with either like a mini brush or a wide tooth comb, I mean, uh, what is this called? Fish tail, rat tail comb. And every night I tie my hair down with a do-rag. I move all of this hair to the side, kind of like I'm wrapping it. Like I move it all the way down and I'll wrap it at night with a do-rag. But yeah, that's how I maintain it. Let me know if you guys want any more hair videos. I am keeping my hair short. I am playing with the top, growing it out. As you see, this is a longer length than my last video. Sides are still short. But yeah, just let me know if you guys have any style recommendations or any videos you guys want to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.